Welcome back to another episode of Cyclone TV. I'm Sarah Kinkart. And pinch hitting for Dave Van Gorder, I'm Billy Horner. This week, the Cyclones have Monday and Tuesday off thanks to the New York Penn League All-Star break, but does not mean baseball is put on hold. This year, MCU Park is hosting the All-Star game Tuesday night. The Cyclones return to their playoff chase on Wednesday evening in Staten Island before returning home on Thursday for a Jersey Thursday Brooklyn Bridge giveaway against the Staten Island Yankees here at MCU Park. The team will then finish the week with a three-game series against the Tri-City Valley Cats with fireworks on Friday, princesses on Saturday, and who knows what goes on on Sunday. Okay, Cyclone fans, let's take a look at how the team did last week. The Cyclones went 5-1 and one last week, winning five straight games, two against the Spinners and a three-game sweep against the Lake Monsters this past weekend. They now hold a 35-28 and 28 record going into the All-Star break and hold on to a one-game lead in the New York Penn League wildcard race over the Connecticut Tigers. Starters Marcus Molina, Alberto Baldonado, and Casey Meisner all reached a personal season high in strikeouts in their last starts. Johan Urania hit two home runs last week, and Shane Bay penciled in his 13th save of the season. Our player of the week was Tomas Nito, who has raised his batting average by 21 points in the past week. The catcher slash DH currently has an eight-game hit streak and has recorded 12 hits and five RBIs in his last 25 at-bats. Congratulations to our player of the week, Tomas Nito. Tomorrow night, the New York Penn League All-Star Game will be right here in Coney Island. The stars from around the league will compete north versus south, including six of our very own Cyclone players. But that's not all at MCU Park. We also have our pregame celebrity softball challenge featuring NBA Hall of Famer Chris Mullen, former NFL MVP Boomer Esiason, New York Mets Hall of Famers John Franco, Doc Gooden, and the cast of Impractical Jokers. It should be a great time for all. Plus, we'll have fireworks and Reggie the Purple Party Dude. What's not to love? And it is that time to take a look to see what is going on around the Mets organization. The Savannah Sand Nats won 6-1 last week, winning the past five games they have played. They are now 81-42 and 42 on the season and remain on top of the Southern Division of the South Atlantic League. The St. Lucie Mets went 4-4 four four last week, and they now hold on to a 68-56 and 56 record on the season. The Binghamton Mets went 4-3 and three last week and hold on to a 76-51 and 51 record on the season. They remain just a game and a half behind the Portland Sea Dogs in the Eastern Division of the Eastern League as the season comes to an end. And over in Vegas, the 51s went 3-3 three three last week and now have a record of 72-58. and 58. They remain in first place in the Pacific Southern Division on the Pacific Coast League. Former Cyclones pitcher Rafael Montero was called up to the show last week from Las Vegas after being named the Pacific Coast League Player of the Week. And that's all from around the Mets organization this week. Let's pass it over to Tyler, who has our top plays of the week. At number five, we have a ground ball to Johan Urania, who does what he does best, and that's throw people at it first. Good job. And at number four, we have a ground ball. This time, it's hit to Ahmed Rosario, who does a little dance, makes a little love, and throws people out tonight. And at number three, we have Johan Urania, who hits a bomb. The whereabouts of that baseball are currently unknown. And at number two, we have a ball hit the left field, but that's no problem for Michael Conforto. Flipping and rolling and makes a hat tip of a catch there. And at number one, we have a familiar face in Johan Urania with a game-winning walk-off base hit. That was the game-winning hit in the second game of a doubleheader that went into extra innings. So his teammates, as you can see here, are very happy because they get to go home. It ain't nothing but a baseball party, party. What a wonderful, wonderful man, Johan Urania. That's this week's Blaze of the Week. I'm Tyler Holland. And that's all for this week's edition of Cyclones TV. But make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at BK Cyclones. For Cyclones TV, I'm Sarah Kinkart. And I'm Billy Harner much better looking than Dave Van Gorder. See you next week, Brooklyn.